So sometimes you get little leaks, like we've got the name for the next GPU lineup, which is sometimes easy to just guess. But then you've got leaks like this one. Now this is one of those kind of leaks for those trying to keep the biggest big navvy details under wraps. Well, they get a little bit panicked. I don't know any other way to put it because these are big details. These aren't little ones. So it seems the specifications of the AMD Navi 21 XT, rather known as a big Navi GPU for the Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics card has been reported by Patrick Schur. Well, he's been quite credible regarding his information in the past, and according to the reported specs, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT seems to be quite the beast of a card with insane clocks. Now, Patrick states in his tweet that the AMD Navi 21 XT GPU, which is allegedly big Navi, those naming and numbers could shift up, just keep that in mind as we move forward, that enthusiast gamers have been waiting for will have the insane clocks and be one insane chip. Now, as per previous reports, the 21 XT GPU will be featured on the Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics card, but there are also reports that a faster XTX variant exists, which would be even faster than this one. Now, Navi 21 XT GPU will reportedly be a powerhouse of a chip with a game clock of around 2.4 gigahertz, which is the highest clock speed we've seen on consumer desktop grade graphics cards. Now this also suggests that we can expect even higher boosting frequencies considering the game and boost clocks are separate. As the game clock is the average clock frequency that the GPU can maintain while in games while the boost clock is the peak frequency that the GPU can hit. The GPU is also said to feature a TGP or total graphics power of 255 watts. Now this doesn't mean the whole board power, but rather the GPU itself. The GeForce RTX 3080 for comparison has a TDP of 320 watts and the GeForce RTX 3070 has a TDP of 220 watts. Now the graphics card based on the Navi 21 XT GPU, which is reportedly the Radeon RX 6900 XT, is set to feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is also what we've seen in previous leaks. Now as for comparative measurements, the performance looks to be really close to Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card, which is very impressive for AMD to hit. And if they can price big Navi graphics card at the 499 to 599 US, then we're likely going to see a killer 4K solution in AMD's hands. Now Rogue Game has already pointed out that at least four SKUs in the Navi 21 or RDNA 2 GPU, and we didn't know anything else aside from PCI IDs. Now there's active speculation going on on right now regarding the exact specifications and configurations of each SKU in terms of core counts, texture mapping units, and ROPs since we now know the GPU consists of 5,120 stream processors packed with 80 CUs. Now AMD will officially be unveiling its Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card family on October 28th and we'll be here live streaming our pre-show where we'll go through roundups and the biggest leaks and speculations regarding what they'll be showing, see what they have to show, and then wrapping it up just like we did with the Zen 3 launch since you fine folks seem to enjoy that so much. Now I have one big question as we exit this video and you guys get on with your weekend. Are you more excited for that absolutely high-end performance or are you more excited for that mid-range uplift? Because while we know everybody gets really excited for that super high tier stuff, really is the mid-range stuff that moves the market and that's the most important to hit and i think this time we're going to see the ability to make that 1440p 144 hertz kind of lifestyle the norm over 1080p well we'll see everybody has their preference and i want to see yours and for more on this and other news follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one